Welcome back to Let's Try It. Today I'm going to try building a game table. So you may notice from the get-go this is a little bit different than most of my videos. It's not a time lapse. I've previously built a game table here in the past. Here's some pictures. I built this other one about four years ago. Figured it's time for an update. I'm going to try and improve upon my design in every possible way. Now I did forget to record the first little bits here. I'll try and get you caught up. Whenever I start a project, I first mock it up in SketchUp. As you can see, I went through a whole bunch of different iterations. When I finally decided upon the design I wanted, I broke it up into individual pieces. I use this to figure out how much wood and other components I need. It also helps me with the measurements of every single piece. So you can see I've already got a lot of the main structure done. And then I've cut in a few channels so everything fits together like a puzzle. This will be where the bottom tray goes. This will be where the slide out tray goes in and out. These are for the cup holders. I'll cut the holes once I get the cup holder so I know the size. Now I've also made it so that each one of these is cut from one slab so when it's all put together, the grain will match up on each one. start sanding these down and then I can start assembling the whole thing. So I like to choose my favorite face, the one that looks the best, the one that's the smoothest. Obviously I'm sanding it down but I'll mark the opposite side that won't ever be seen with the bead just indicate that's going to be on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put in a liberal amount of wood filler before I put in the other pieces just because it'll be easier to sand it down with this sander so I don't have to sand it by hand. So while we're waiting for the wood filler to dry, I may as well put on a few extra pieces on the ends. So just like the pieces that were running lengthwise, I made it so that the wood grain of each of these pieces would also line up. So you can tell I'm going to have a pretty continuous look with all the wood grain all the way around. So I previously cut these trim pieces to go along the inside. So next I'll put those on and then just some more with like that I sanded earlier are going to fit right here in the channels that I had cut earlier. 
So I'm going to flip it over and we'll piece it all together. build some spacers right here that'll put this flush with the top and eventually it will open up as a hinge to make it so it's one flat surface. But I need to have a perfect spacer on each side in order for it to fit. So this part's gonna be a bit more difficult because I have to get the perfect angle here as I made the choice to not have these both be flush, but it'll actually be slanting in in order for it to save a bit of space when these are folded out so it's not overly wide. So I have to make sure I get the perfect angle between the two so that when it opens up, it'll still remain 180 degrees flat uh, in the open position. So the reason that I cut these on opposite sides of the blade is because even if my angle isn't perfect, the cut that is made on both sides is always going to be a complementary angle, making sure that it's always going to be completely flat, 180 degrees. All right, a few things have arrived from Amazon. First of all, microphone so you can finally hear me. Next are the cup holders. So I'll be cutting the holes for these in each of the sections, there's gonna be eight total of them. And then lastly, the hinges for all the trays so they can open and close. I've also glued together all the little pieces that I cut yesterday. These are going to be the pullout trays that I mentioned before. Um, there are inserts. So these inserts will have some felt on them. They'll be put right in here. And then that will be pulling in and out. I'll put a knob at the end as well. All right, so first of all, for the hinges. As you can see here, for the pieces that'll be on the trays, it doesn't sit flat as we need it to. And so I'll be cutting a couple of grooves on each side. So that way when it opens and closes, it will be the correct height. And also, as I mentioned before, this has complementary angles in order for it to sit at 180 degrees flat when it's open. That's looking good, and we just need to cut those grooves now.
All right, let's test it out, see how it works. Perfect. Now just gotta do that seven more times. Well, time to start staining it.
everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Not technically done yet. Still have to add drawers to either side. Don't have the hardware yet, so I figured I'd just call it done for now. Um, it is a little bit different than most of my videos. I'm normally doing the time-lapse videos, but let me know in the comments what you think, which one you prefer. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I have yet to monetize off of a single video here on YouTube, so getting that subscriber count and that view count up will be very much appreciated. Thanks.